citizens wishing to be heard, we have one, Mr. Michael Lowe. Please come forward and state your name and address for the record. Sir. Uh, good evening, my name is uh, Michael Knoll. I live at 2305 Plindale Drive with my wonderful family. And I'm here to speak on behalf of Wycross Actors for Clean Energy tonight. And I also have one document I'd like to share with you, uh, which I hinted at in terms of its content at the panel discussion, which you might find of interest if you would like to read that. I'd like to really keep my uh, comments brief tonight. Um, and first of all, I would like to thank uh, Chairman Slaughter for coming to the panel discussion, uh, as well as Mr. Raines was able to share a statement. I know others would have liked to come as well, but there were some conflicts. And I do appreciate your interest in the issue of the Sable Trail pipeline, as well as some of the comments that have already been made. I do not want to bore anyone with any details on it, because I think by now it's pretty clear what the issues are for many of the citizens in Lowndes County when it comes to the Sable Trail pipeline. It's a question of property rights, it's a question of property values, it's a question of safety, and perhaps also in terms of a sustainable vision when it comes to energy security, ultimately. Uh, what I would like to encourage though the uh, commissioners uh, to consider, and hopefully we'll be able to do this in a fairly uh, timely fashion, to pass a resolution as has been done in other uh, counties as well, Colquitt County in this case here in Georgia, that considers some of these concerns when it comes to property rights, property values, and, and safety, which is a relatively easy thing to do, where it allows you, on one hand, to make a clear statement as a representative of the citizens, the concerned and impacted citizens of Lowndes County, to say, we're on your side, we understand what your concerns are, we here, therefore, are expressing in the form of a resolution that we do, for example, ask for a minimum of five feet of top cover on the pipeline for safety reasons, and we are expressing our concerns in terms of the decline of property values, as Mr. Larry Rogers indicated at the panel discussion. Uh, he has already lost essentially uh, money because he wasn't able to sell part of his land because once the individual realized that this was going to be uh, in the neighborhood of a pipeline, uh, he withdraw, withdrew his offer. At the same time, it's estimated that the property values are going to decline up, up to 40%, perhaps as a result of bringing in the 36 inch pipeline. Safety issues, property value issues, all these are really, really important. I do understand uh, that you have as commissioners to carefully evaluate the situation and to take your time with that. I also do uh, believe that you truly care about the citizens in this community, otherwise you wouldn't be sitting where you are sitting right now. And I can also imagine easily that it is a very complicated or difficult situation to see yourself almost on the opposing side of a member of your community, like indicated at the panel discussion, I, we all should be not playing tug of war, we should be all on the same side of that rope and pull the car out of the mud and trying to get in a direction when it comes to energy security and the safety of our citizens together as a team, as a community. What I'm requesting from you tonight simply is to carefully look at uh, the information that you already have available. Uh, we'll, we'll happen to meet with you on an individual basis to get together with you as a group to discuss any of the issues you might still have, questions you might still have, so that we can fairly quickly pass a resolution that may, for some people, just be a symbolic resolution, but it's an important one because it says, we as Lowndes County Commissioners are on the side of our citizens, we understand the concerns, we're passing a resolution that essentially says, we want to, for reasons of safety and other issues, want to make a statement here publicly. It's time to get, at some point, off the fence I've been on that fence every now and then myself, and then eventually just have to jump up and say, okay, I'm ready, it's time to make a statement. Please do consider that resolution. And, and again, I do offer to sit down with you and bring some of my colleagues to discuss the issue in peace, because ultimately it's a commonsensical issue. We don't have to fight over it. That's a fairly straightforward case. And that is all. You have a wonderful evening. Thanks for letting me give a little speech here. Thank you.